Gary Goldsmith, the enigmatic and controversial uncle of the Princess of Wales, made waves during his time on reality TV show Celebrity Big Brother, where he spoke candidly about royal family dynamics and his relationship with his niece. The revelations from Goldsmith, affectionately known as Buncle, to reflect his reputation as the family's notorious black sheep, have sparked intrigue and controversy among royal watchers. Although Goldsmith tried to maintain decorum by speaking positively about the future Queen's family, he did not hesitate to make a big deal out of a molehill by blaming the Sussexes for the supposed decline of the royal family. His calls to strip them of their titles only added fuel to the fire, leaving some royalists scratching their heads over his controversial stance. Despite his attempts to present himself as a benevolent figure, Goldsmith's comments hint at underlying tensions and alienation within the royal family. His admission that he had difficulty connecting with his niece, citing her busy schedule and family commitments, provided insight into the complexity of their relationship. However, amid intrigue and controversy, Goldsmith vigorously defended his niece from the disparaging label of commoner, arguing that her upbringing was far from modest. With a hint of disdain, he emphasized their family's financial success, emphasizing that they had achieved wealth and social status before they were 30. Thus, he tried to refute the opinion that Kate Middleton is just a commoner who was lucky enough to marry a prince. Goldsmith's assertion that wealth equates to noble birth underscores his own insecurities and perhaps a deep-seated sense of resentment toward the aristocratic elite who viewed his family as inferior. His statements hint at a desire to assert the dignity and legitimacy of his family in the face of entrenched class differences, revealing the complex interplay of status, privilege and identity in the royal orbit. Ultimately, Goldsmith's revelations served as a reminder of the tangled web of relationships and perceptions that define the lives of the royal family. As the saga continues to unfold, his words hang in the air, inviting speculation and debate about the true nature of the royal bloodline and the elusive limits of privilege. Of his famous niece, Gary said she would probably watch the show while sitting on the couch somewhere safe. From this we can conclude that since the uncle refuses to call Adelaide Cottage the home where Kate is, then it is quite possible that she is not there. But Goldsmith admitted that he did not ask the princess for permission to participate in this show, but added that he would never make her nervous because of his public comments. Of course, Gary could not ignore the topic of the Sussexes, saying that Meghan Markle has become a spoke in the wheel of a wonderful and well-coordinated tricycle in the person of William Kate Harry. Despite Harry's own admission that he actually felt like a third wheel and lonely in the company of his brother and wife, everyone still continues to call Meghan a destroyer of the royal idol. Goldsmith dared to say that William took on the full brunt of the royal work after Charles's illness became known. They say that it is three times more difficult for the prince, because he has a sick wife on his hands, a sick father, whose responsibilities have placed a heavy burden on the shoulders of the heir, and then there is also a problematic brother, about whom everyone is for some reason sure that he is rushing to the palace to tidy up everything to your hands. The only saviors of the monarchy, according to Goldsmith, are William and Kate. I feel like William must be furious right now because suddenly all the weight of his father, his wife and his brother has fallen on his head and shoulders. So far they are trying to change the royal family and modernize it. The prince has done an amazing job work in this terrible situation. Kate and William are the saviors of the royal family. Although I will say that Charles has also done a lot for the monarchy. Uncle Gary's comments about the relationship between William and Harry, particularly his claim that William constantly extends olive branches to his brother, have sparked a flurry of reactions on social media. Critics have questioned the validity of Goldsmith's conclusions, 
pointing out the apparent discrepancy between his limited interactions with the royal family and bold statements about their personal dynamics. How does Goldsmith know what William is thinking and what the relationship between the brothers is, many wondered, highlighting the skepticism inherent in his supposed insider knowledge. Given Welsh's reluctance to communicate with him and Goldsmith's own admission that he had never met Meghan in person, his comments seemed more speculative than substantive. Some have suggested that Goldsmith's desire to attract attention and profit from his connections with the royal family led him to rehash information readily available in the media rather than offer genuine insights based on his own experiences. His willingness to speak out on issues outside his area of expertise demonstrates a desire for relevance in the ever-expanding landscape of royal commentary. Goldsmith's comments may have sparked controversy and intrigue, but they also served as a warning about the dangers of confusing rumor and balanced analysis. As the noise of speculation continues to echo across the digital landscape, discerning audiences must remain vigilant in scrutinizing purported insiders, realizing that true insight often lies beneath the surface of sensational headlines and speculative speculation.